So that scary noise that you're hearing is due to oxidation of the tuning contacts inside of the condenser assembly of a tuner. And if we look down in here, see that kind of green mung looking stuff there? That's the corrosion. And that means that intermittently the grounding of the tuning condenser gets lifted and you get that horrible static that you hear. This is a Pioneer TX9800, which is a pretty nice machine, one of Pioneer's top tuners. And I'm going to show you how to remedy this. Now, uh, you all are familiar with keg deoxid, I'm sure. And what this is, is deoxid D5P, which is the pump version, it's a higher concentration of formula. And what you do is, is very carefully, without getting it on the fins of the tuner, you want to get some of this on the uh, contact assembly here. Just one pump ought to do it. And you want to do that on all the fin uh, grounding points here. Just a little pump. And then what you do is you work the tuner back and forth through its paces about, I don't know, 10, 15 times or whenever the thing starts sounding less crackly. You don't want to saturate it or get it between the fins because that will alter the capacitance of the tuning assembly. It will mean that it won't work with this yet. run it through, like I said, about 10 times, something like that. We're going to be a little less generous with this one. And you will need to realign the RF after you've done this procedure. So the next thing we do is get a Q-tip, clean off the excess. See the junk that comes off of that. And now we'll retest. This is every day. We'll add extra high speed. It goes jumping in the back. Yeah, it goes number one. He claims <laughs> And he could come on. So you can see the difference now that we've cleaned it up. We haven't done the full alignment yet, but that at least makes it tunable. So that's something that you can do whenever you get a really touchy tuner like that. Uh, again, the Deoxid D5 pump spray, uh, not the aerosol, is what to use. And just to sum up again, uh, you want to very carefully apply it around the ground straps of the tuner, here, here, etc. Work the tuner back and forth, clean off the excess, and then uh, align the tuner. And I'm not going to go through the alignment process on this because it's very tedious, but that's just a quick tip I have for you as far as uh, cleaning and maintenance of your analog tuner. Hope this is useful to you. Uh, basically, you can do a brief RF touch-up for the FM by uh, between the antenna and the third RF stage, uh, finding a station about middle of the dial that's fairly weak and peaking these all uh, with the signal meter. That's a simple way of doing a very brief alignment, but uh, a full alignment is more complex and I just don't have the time to do that in this video. So I hope this was useful to you and uh, more videos to come soon.